amesomea shauri yako primary mm-hmm. then nirudi boys high school yes then ka relocate nika kuja Nairobi okay ulikuwa shauri yako yeah shauri yako kuna vile washughuliki na watoto ni usome kama utaki ni shauri yako ni shule ni shule tu kama hizi okay yeah yeah so ulipokuja Nairobi ulikuja na kama umemaliza form 4 yani nilikuja kama nilimaliza form 4 yes so nilikuja ku at least ni nianze maisha nianze maisha yes that was 2012 2012 that's about 10 years ago yes So nikakuja 2012 nikabahatika nikapata job nyingine mm-hmm. nilifanya mpaka 2016 yes that was March 8th March 8th yeah so nikapata sasa that is 2015 March 8th 2016 2016 March 8th yeah ndio ukapata kazi nikapata kazi ilikuwa ni kazi gani ulipata nilipata kazi nyingine ya ka kampuni nyingine inaitwa Kenya Swiss Limited mm-hmm. Kenya Swiss Limited nilifanya for three months for three months yeah. yes so ikifika 27th june 2016 27th june 2016 mhm tulona mande mm-hmm. siwezi sahau kilicho itokea so nili bila i was lawful uh, employed nilikuwa nafanyia kazi mm-hmm. so ile harakati so, so kidogo before you get into the details mm-hmm. ulikuwa umeajiriwa kama nani what exactly were you doing uh, kama machine operator machine operator yeah. before that were you trained uli trainiwa kutumia hiyo machine yeah, kuna... na machine yenyewe ilikuwa ni machine ya kufanya nini Ma- machine yenyewe ilikuwa mixer mm-hmm. kuna in kampuni ya peremende yes ya sasa ina kuna mixer mm-hmm. so hii mixer ndio ina ina, ina, ina koroga hiyo sukari mm-hmm. eh, kuna ka section yes. inaitwa white mint mm-hmm. so hiyo white mint tu ndio tuna, tuna tumia hiyo sukari tunakoroga na hiyo mixer mm-hmm. kuna gram zingine zinawekwa mm-hmm. the at least kuje kwe pere hiyo hiyo pere mende eh. na wewe ulikuwa unakorect hiyo mashine ambayo ndio hiyo mixer sasa yeah, yeah. ndio inatengeneza sasa yeah. koroga inafanya koroga inafanya ya kutoa pere mende yeah. yes sasa hiyo harakati ya ku, kuweka hiyo sukari ndio ni koroge mm-hmm. nilishtuka mashine iliyakishwa ili, ili, ili by my coworker mhm hakujua uko hapo Sijui kama aliona, sijui kama aliyo. Mimi hiyo mashini mimi ndio inafaa nikishawe niki koroga yes. nifunike mm-hmm. niende niakishe ianze kukimbia. Wewe yes. ndio ulikuwa operator. Mimi ndio operator. Mimi ndio ulikuwa operator. Yes. So hapo Kenya niliona niliona tu giza. Mkono imevurutwa. Nikaona giza like 30 minutes kama sija sijielewi. So after after a while ndio nini kakuja fahamu ikarudi fahamu ikarudi nikaangalia nikapata kama overall nimekatwa na huku juu nilikatwa 10 cm below the shoulder ni ni tu bila ilikuwa mm-hmm. so nilikimbizwa nili hospitali na Red South Hospital na Red South nika nikatibiwa kutibiwa nika nika distajiwa tarehe 7 mwezi wa 7 that was 2016 mm-hmm. so from 20 from that uh, tarehe 7 hiyo wakaniita like company kaniita kwa nini kwa like a meeting unaenda sana mm. so hapa umepoteza fahamu yeah. you are the prime machine operator yeah there. yeah hii ilikuwa ni kazi yako wewe kuwasha hiyo mashine ku operate hiyo mashine ku operate hiyo mashine wewe ukiendelea na kazi mwenzako aka ukiendelea na kazi mwenzako akaja kufinya yani mkono wako ilikuwa hapo wakati huo ilikuwa kwa wakati huo mkono ilikuwa hapo ilikuwa hapo so ameasha mkono imeshikwa na mashine ndutwa mashine imeenda na mkono god lord kidogo fahamu ikapotea akapeleka hospitalini nikapeleka hospitalini na hiyo mashine vile vile yani imedesignwa ikienda na mkono hiyo kuiona tena ni kusiagwa no mm-hmm. ikienda na mkono mm-hmm. i, kuna vile unaona mkono haisiagwi like mm-hmm. inavunjwa mm-hmm. eh, mkono inavunjwa ni so uliona hiyo ikifanyikia mkono wako eh, mkono inavunjwa mkono kama ikishavurutwa inavunjwa tu kazi yake ni kuvunja tu mm-hmm. eh. Aishiagi. So kampuni yenyewe ilikupeleka hospitali. Kampuni yenyewe ilinipeleka hospitali mm-hmm. Arubi South. Yes. Nikatibiwa. Mm-hmm. Nikadischargeiwa. Ukadischargeiwa. Yeah. Yaani ukakuwa awe kutoka kazini kwa muda gani? Uh, like six months. Like six months. Six months. 
walikuwa nakugaramia na kila e, kitu walikuwa nalipa ile wenye walikuwa nalipanga mm-hmm. e, ile basic walikuwa nalitumia na kunikiwa kwa nyumba mm-hmm. so ikifika like 2017 sasa mm-hmm. na ulikuwa umepata nafuu vizuri bado sikuwa nimepata nafuu juu bado nilikuwa na umwa mm-hmm. na bandage mm-hmm. bado narudi usifu yes. check up mm-hmm. yeah. so kaendelea hivyo kufika 2017 wakaniambia you know what Auko auko sasa productive kwa kampuni. Sasa so kenye unafaa ufanye mm-hmm. step aside tukulipe alafu uendelee na maisha ya. Endelea maisha yako. Mimi siku siku nini siku kata. Hebu wacha tupate break kidogo. Tunarudi of course ni staff. Yes. Na uh, tulikaa chini. Mm-hmm. Kutambia accident imekupata ukiwa mdogo. Mhm lakini sasa you are you are unable sasa ku perform ku perform yeah so step aside tunashughulikia hii kitu hiyo hiyo issue yako kwa insurance mhm tutakuita mhm that was 2017 to february 2017 february that's about 5 years ago now 6 years yes 6 years mm-hmm. oh february that's 6 yeah, years six yes years. that's 6 years sasa kukaka kidogo mambo ya election nikaona sita sita wasumbua sana mm-hmm. so niliacha election nikapita ya 2017 sasa ikifika august mm-hmm. after election mm-hmm. niliyav ku, kutumia sasa lawyer yeah, uh, uh, because after hiyo tangu february mm-hmm. when they dismissed you walikupatia chochote hakuna chochote walikuwa walikuwa nakulipa hakuna kitu yote waka stop in salary waka waka stop salary like na wakufu waka ku dismiss yeah, kazini bila kitu. chochote bila chochote and they never communicated up to now up to now, up to now. so ulipo pata lawyer what so, did the lawyer do and so vile vile pata lawyer lawyer waliwandikia like kabarua mm-hmm. kwa inform yes and this was the, what, this was the response kwa inform kwamba baada ya kuandikiwa barua baada yes. ya kuandikiwa barua mhm sasa wali respond hapo sasa hiyo ni defendant which means sasa hatukutani kotini ndio akakwambia eh hey, hatukutani kotini yes. hata waliniambia after before hata tuende kotini mm-hmm. waliniambia hata hii utasumbuka kuna kenye utafanya eh umepata sana umepata mkono wako pale ukiwa jodi unafuatilia ulipwe wanakwambia wanatia chochote na wanakwambia hautasaidika hiyo ndio kenya yenu tunaishi sasa hivi that is what they told you yeah utatembea na utakuna mali utaenda kwa ni yao nani what sababu tena mtu mtu amemumia pale tena kaida kitu kama ikiwa kupata tena unafata unalipwa wanakwambia watakuita na, na bado mtu anakwambia uende pale utaenda utatembea na kuna pale utatupeleka yes kwa sababu wanasema kwamba apparently mm-hmm. uh, some of things are like particulars of soul and or contributory negligence by the plaintiff failing to take caution to prevent injury to himself despite being aware of the risk. Sasa unasikia unasikia tena mmoja aliwasha machine sio eh ni mtu tofauti. Exposing himself to the risk of injury while carrying out duties allocated by the defendants. Sasa huyo lawyer ndio aliandika hiyo. Disregarding the defendants standing instructions failing to use alternative wear provided to him by the defendants. Oh my goodness. Uh-huh. So so from there mm-hmm. mm, tulienda kotini yes before that respond mm-hmm. uh, ni, ni, ni kesi ilienda kotini mm-hmm. ikafanywa kitu inaitwa assessment assessment so the, uzitu yeah. wa kesi so zasa. the amount i was demanding mm-hmm. was above a million yes how much were you demanding well wali, walifanya like accident ikifanyika mm-hmm. kuna ile board yes occupational and safety health Mhm. Anafanya hesabu. Yes. Ina inatuma kwa kampuni, mm-hmm. then kampuni wanachukua wanapata kwa ishwa. Yes. So ile pesa yenyewe walisema watanilipa ilikuwa 1.7 million, million shillings. Eh. Mm-hmm. Of which your body repetition. Yeah, of which mm-hmm. to me it was on a, on a lower side yes. but niliridhika. Considering you'd lost yeah. your productive yeah. arm. Niliridhika. Yes. Yes. Sasa imeshaenda what what, what would you do? Mm-hmm. Sasa ku nini hivyo? nika nikaenda kotini nika make an, an application yes to, to file a suit as a pauper mm-hmm. 
Yes. So that was on um, it's the 2017. 2017. Yeah. Yes. On February. November. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On February 2018, mm -hmm. I was given the order to file a suit as a pop. As a pop. Yeah. Yes. So that's where my problem is. Yes. Apple sasa. Mm -hmm. So when you filed a suit as a pop, mm -hmm. what happened from there? So from there. In a funny date, mm -hmm. hearing date, hearing date that was 2018. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was 2018. Mm -hmm. So, when the lawyer came, I said, These cases are skills. I said, I'm going to ask you, 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 I'm going to ask Twenty twenty September fifteen. Yes. This was the Chief Justice, former Chief Justice David Maraga, mm -hmm. secular to yes. all judges. Mm -hmm. Complaints have been made that, that there is a confusion in the handling of pen, pending work, injury claims filed before the enactment of coming to effect of the Work Injury Benefits Act two two oh seven. Mm -hmm. So, I can at least I can see it. I can see it. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, ni, actually, walianza kusikiza vingine. Yes. So, vile walisikia maraga ana, 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 anaenda retire. Anaenda ku, yes. Uh -huh. Walistopisha. Walistopisha. Eh, yeah, walistopisha. So, kustopisha 2020. Mm -hmm. 2021, I made an application mm -hmm. seeking the matter to be transferred to the Employment and Labor Relations Court. Yes. Of which one mm -hmm. Kesi Kesi was it April? Yes. So April 2021. 2021. Mm -hmm. The judgment was delivered on 10th June 2021. What was the verdict? Uh, the, the verdict was the, the case was dismissed, but mm -hmm. they directed the, the magistrate court mm -hmm. to set a date. Yakuskizu kwa yu kesi. That was 2021, June. June. So, took have to wait, Nikangoja, 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 September, November, December, January, mm. February, March 30th. I draft a letter. 20 what now? 20, 2022. Now, March 30th, 20 more kahu. Waka 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 waka. You did a letter now? I did a letter to the Chief Justice, mm -hmm. Madam Martha Kome. Yes. Here is the letter. Mm -hmm. Cry for justice following the untold suffering occasioned by confusion and inaction by the magistrate's court on Weber matters. Mm -hmm. So, Nili Peleka Uko, that year? Nili Opea, like a man. Yes. Wa respond. Wa respond. Eh, mm -hmm. Awaku respond. So, Nili Uko, Nili Uko, Nili Uko, May. May. Mwezi jana sasa. Yeah, mwezi jana. So kuenda hapo wakanyambia, the ile response unataka, utaenda kwa Busma. I went there, kuna ile rubber stamp ya waiko hapo. Mm -hmm. Mayona. Yeah. Yes. Receive, that was my copy. Yes. They were received. Mm -hmm. Wakanyambia kama huku saidika kwa Chief Justice, sisi ya tuwe tuwe kusaidi. Kwa hivyo tuwe kusaidi. Alavu kwa mupi ya kwa wamidia. Sasa mimi ya mua, Yes. Seven years not a joke. Currently, Nico hosted my book. Since 2017, February. Till now. Till now. Yes. Nimesho, nimesho hmm? Oh, I'm sure 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 Yes. Like a friend, it's, it's just a friend. A friend who now is even more than a brother now. 
na mimi saki nyingie kwa crime yote so mal like, sauti ya kilio chako unaelekeza unaelekeza kwa nani aswa akusikize leo hii kilio changu naelekezea madam chief justice mm-hmm. kama na, anasikiza yes yeah. ni pale tu ile justice ile, ile kilio changu niendelee na maisha haki itendeke haki itendeke haki itendeke haki itendeke it's been a and long and you, you actually have a chance to speak to that company now what is your message to them the message is only give give me my compensation yes yeah so niende mali na zaenda mhm yeah wamekusumbua ya kutosha miaka 7 si si wamekuhangaisha ya kutosha si miaka kidogo miaka 7 na ulikuja Nairobi kutafuta miaka 7 si miaka kidogo na mkono unavoona kweli mkono hauko miaka 7 si miaka kidogo so on a normal day siku ya kawaida yako huwa vipi siku ya kawaida sasa unaamka ni wapi na wewe to go i mimi na sare na 1 meal a day joy ubi kitu unapata kwa mtu nimezunguka hii Nairobi nikitafuta hata kazi wanakuambia sasa vile huko kazi gani sasa tutakupea like i'm out of the job market yes so niki ninataka tu ni Kenya sweets kama wanasikiza mm-hmm. Kenya sweets warivis to compensation yangu unajua ilishatoka 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 yes and to this date mm-hmm. nataka plus the interest yes for those seven years because seven years they've wasted you they've wasted that your wasted time me. seven years ni miaka mingi they should give you what you do what you should be given rightfully yours mm-hmm. saa hii nimepewa like a notice yes ukifika mwisho wa mwezi nitafute vimali nitaenda sasa na huyo rafiki na huyo rafiki na uwezi mlaumu kwa sababu siwezi nilaumu jaribu jamani siwezi nilaumu is is been good to me siwezi siwezi na siwezi complain yes siwezi complain amejaribu hata mimi yenyewe baada na so, 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 hata hiyo pesa ukipata what would you utafanyia nini tuseme mtu ajitokeze leo aseme uduru shika pesa mimi naweza fungua tu biashara niendelee na maisha niendelee na maisha ndio yeah. sahihi biashara kama gani hiyo unaweza fanya biashara ziko mingi naweza fungua serials naweza weka mpesa vitu uh-huh. kama hizo yes biashara ziko mingi hizo ziko sekana kwa mkenye yote ambaye anasikiza leo hii na angependa kusaidia, anaweza kusaidia kwa namba gani? Uh, namba yangu ya simu ni 0714 yes 282463. Ndio mbarudie namba hiyo 0714 mm-hmm. 282463. 63. Yeah. Message yako kwa wengine? Message yangu kwa wengine wale wenye wameumia ama Yes. Kwa, kwa wale wenye wameumia mm-hmm. Wajitokeze. Wajitokeze. Wasi wasimini wasi wasimie. Wasimie. Manake mm, ni visa hivi nimegundua viko vingi sana. Watu wanaumia. Watu wanaumia. Watu wanaumia. But I think it's time hata serikali yenyewe na kampuni zenyewe ziweke sheria za kuwalinda na kuwa cushion mtu ambaye anakuja kuumia kazini ama anatampoteza maisha yake kazini. Na unasikia kama ndiye alikuwa breadwinner. Inakuwa ni vigumu sana kwa familia na hata kwa mtu mwenyewe ambaye maybe anakuwa anapata injury na hana namna jamani. Kwa hiyo kwa yale kupata kweli ni kuwa miaka saba si mchezo but i pray and i wish and i hope that watakusikia na watakupatia what is what what, what is due to you asante yes right. utarudia hiyo nambari labda 0714 yes 28 uh-huh. 24 yes 63 na sio ati pesa tu labda kuna aweza kuwa pena wakili ambaye pia anaweza amoa sasa wacha tuende vizuri sasa uh-huh. anaweza pia ajitokeze tu naweza shukuru pia amoe sasa roundi sasa hii malipo yako utapata mm. pole kwa yaliyokufika usteni asante